there's a guy from Macedonia, which is north of Greece. Mm -hmm. And he's 18. He has a website kind of development agency. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how he was struggling to hire developers. And I realized that his problem was he, there's two solutions, either find a, create a pipeline to hire more people faster or fire a salesperson because they're too successful. They're giving you too many closes, mm -hmm. right? And he's like, well, I don't want to fire someone. I was like, yeah, but you have a problem serving your clients. And if you can't get the hiring done, you can't serve them and they're going to be pissed because they've paid you and you can't serve them. Mm -hmm. So you're going to probably end up having to fire someone. But do you track the number of leads, you know, how do they, how do you get the leads? Oh, well, they go on someone's website, they create a Loom video, and they tell them how they can make the, the website better. They send them an email and they wait for a response or they mm -hmm. follow up. Okay, great. How many are you doing? You know, how many are they doing a day? I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many of those are turning into calls? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many of those are turning into offers? I don't know. Mm -hmm. How many of those are turning into closes? I don't know. Fantastic. Go figure that out mm -hmm. because if you don't know all of those numbers on a whole and a, uh, an individual salesperson, mm -hmm. you don't know who's doing the better job and don't stop at this person is doing 20 reviews a day and this one's doing eight. Therefore, this one's better because if you know all of the numbers and you accurately measure them, you may discover that actually the one doing less reviews a day is, has, is closing a higher percentage because they're doing more detailed videos and having better calls. Yeah. So it's only once you know all of this information mm -hmm. that then you know who to fire. Mm -hmm. But because you currently have to fire someone and you don't have this data, you're going to burn money for the next month or two trying to figure out this information so you mm -hmm. know who to fire, but at the same time, you still have the problem of not having the people to serve the clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the only solution here is raise your prices so high that people stop saying yes, but then fire the salesperson because you have too many sales being closed anyways.